Coach, if you can start off the brief opening statement. You bet. We'll go to questions. You bet. Good evening, and uh, hope you all had a Merry Christmas. Um, today, uh, just uh, had a practice this morning and hopped on a flight here, and everything went pretty smooth. So guys are excited to finally get to this point. Uh, you know, you, you win uh, the Pac-12 championship, and um, it seems like forever down the road, uh, you know, a lot of things before you get to this point, uh, including even academics, right? Guys taking finals and things like that. But uh, here we are and, uh, you know, really looking forward to a great week being down here, uh, continue preparation for Texas and uh, just, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, lot of new adventures for our guys, you know, being uh, in this particular game in a national semifinal game. Um, First uh, Pac-12, not just the first UW team, but first Pac-12 team to ever be in the Sugar Bowl. So a um, lot of exciting things. Um, I know our fans are excited to get down here and get a taste of New Orleans and uh, also you know, be ready for the game. So I'm um, looking forward to an awesome week being here. We're going to go to some questions now. Please wait for a microphone if you could. Some questions head here. Coach, you've been in bowl games before, but this is the first time in a, a playoff game, at least at this level. Are you um, approaching this any different than you would a regular bowl trip? And if so, or if not, have you talked to maybe coaches who have been in the, the playoffs? Uh, yeah, I think I think there's definitely a bit different feel to it. I think even the, the setup of the bowl itself, uh, you know, with, you know, the activities and so forth, I think there's... Um, I think in our guys' mind, probably more of a business-like approach to it. Um, you know, uh, never really had had conversations or worries about uh, guys maybe not even thinking about playing. Um, they worked extremely hard uh, to get to this point, and this is what it was all about: is is uh, having the chance to to be in a cha national championship, and so. Um, I think there is a more of a business-like approach. Um, I know our staff has a lot of. Uh, you know, peers throughout uh, college football, myself included, that um, just kind of get an idea of just the things to be ready for, uh, the the way that the schedule might uh, be set up. But um, I think there's a lot of experience our staff has, and we've sorted through all that and had a good schedule in place up to this point and, and looking forward to a good week. Coach, what... Uh what do you know from watching film on Quinn Ewers and what, what do you have to do to try to contain him or stop him? Well, I, I, I think the, the thing you see is that he's had continual growth from a year ago. Um, and that's not just uh, Quinn, but also just the rest of the team, um, you know, and he, along with his skill group, uh, are in, in sync. You can see that uh, they're executing an extremely high level. Um, I think he just has command of the offense. Uh, has continued to improve uh, from a year ago. And so, you know, we're expecting a, a, a much different football team than we saw, which was very good football team even a year ago. And so, um, you know, he's protected. Uh, he understands, I think, just from a, from a football sense, um, you know, it's another year into your career. And so been, been very impressed. He can deliver the ball, put it wherever he wants. And, uh, you know, we'll have, we know we'll have our hands full. Um, you know, trying to slow uh, Quinn and the offense down. Good to see you, Coach. Um, Scott Huff, really good friends, your offensive line coach, really good friends with the defensive coordinator, Pete Kwiatkowski. Uh, maybe talk a little bit about the conversations that maybe you're having with Scott and Pete to contain those big two interior defensive linemen. Yeah, I know they're very close and uh, talk regularly um, out of season and even during the season. I think those conversations maybe, I don't know for sure, have uh, dwindled down here as we get closer to the, to the game. But um, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's pretty evident, uh, you know, what they are up front. And um, you know, just uh, guys that uh, stuff the run and, um, you know, I think just as a unit, get after your quarterback and get a push at the line of scrimmage, um, getting the quarterback's face, and we know that that would be a great challenge for offensive line. Uh, Coach Huff's done a great job with our guys, and, you know, all season long and looking forward to that challenge. Uh, we know it will be a great one, but, um, 
you know, that's certainly a big piece of uh, their defense is uh, what happens up front, uh, not just at the line of scrimmage, but all with, also with the second level at the linebacker level. Coach, I have one for you here from the Associated Press. Uh, what has Michael Penix meant to your team this season? Well, yeah, he, he you know, came in two years ago and, um, you know, not a, not a, I mean, there was expectations uh, from my end. I knew what we had and uh, we knew had, I knew we had a really good quarterback that uh, if he was in charge, uh, we were, we were going to be able to have one of the better ones in the country. And I think as time gone on, he's just really pushed himself to new levels. Uh, the talent, the skill set's always been there. Um, I think the instinctiveness, uh, his football IQ, uh, I knew this back five, four years ago that, uh, you know, it was elite. Um, but, you know, he's had guys now around him that uh, can, can make plays, uh, can protect him. Um, I think what's really, you know, to answer your question, uh, been, been key is just how much he's involved as a leader, as he's become more comfortable uh, in the program. And I think, you know, there's things that, uh, um, he's done um, that uh, just in those big moments, uh, whether it's leading a, a t our team down the field uh, when our backs are to the wall, not just this year, but last year, um, time and time again, he's done that. He's come through. Uh, it's, it's, um, you know, it's those big moments when he's, you know, exhausted and will get up and get in front of the team, whether it's halftime, um, in the, you know, end of the game. Um, and just you know, give those give those talks that you can tell are deep. Um, you know, just the ones that uh, where he's finding every bit of energy to 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 make sure that he challenges the guys to dig deep and um, you know give everything they have. And so uh, he does it on the field with his production. Um, he's a relentless worker. Uh, he's really pushed hard to to help himself be his best. And uh, his leadership, I think, is probably one of the biggest areas where we've seen you know, as a team, him just really step out in front and not be afraid to put the team on his shoulders. Any additional questions? One more from Ted. I'm yeah. Sort of hopefully not piggybacking quite on the last one, but uh, last year you played this team in San Antonio. That was a, a pure bowl game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you said, this is a business trip. Have you, have you emphasized that to your players or do you, you tell them, hey, have fun down here and to a certain degree, but yeah. you know the, the stakes in this game are a lot higher than sure than they've ever played played for before. Yeah, no, no, there's no question. I don't think I had to say too much about it. I think um, that's really, you know, kind of the balance that I think our team has. We have this uh, mature group of guys that uh, has these lofty goals that weren't just set here those last couple of weeks, but all season long, and um, we've been able to balance having fun enjoying being around each other all season long just with the the work that it takes uh, to prepare to be great on Saturdays uh, or on game day and um, you know I'm, I'm really proud of these guys for that because they they uh, know that hey this is the time to work and this is the time to have fun and so you know I'd expect that business trip that workmanlike mentality to continue here on this trip here down in New Orleans. Thank you very much. Coach. You bet. Thank you guys.